Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sane of LS Web Apps and in this tutorial video we're going to be having a look at how to allow uploading of the same image file twice. So for some reason you might want to upload the previous image file that you had uploaded and in right now our script doesn't allow you to do that because we have a check here that does um, a file exist check. So if the final destination of the file already exists, um, which we do by calculating prepending the upload folder to the name of the file so right now our folder our system does not allow us to do that so let's try out just to confirm that it doesn't so when we upload it says sorry that file already exists so I if you remember from the last video I did say we're going to do a security check but I did notice that um, our script is actually doing that for us right now by using the get image size function which actually confirms that this file must be an image type so this second check that we're doing here only checks that the image type we're trying to upload is in this list of allowed image types. So we're con already confirming that it must be an image type. If it's not an image type, it won't even get past this um, part of the script right now. Okay. So now that that's confirmed, let's go ahead and actually allow it to upload uh, the same image twice. So right now in our final destination um, for, um, variable here, we're checking that if the file exists so we're killing the script by using the die function so instead of doing that what we should actually do is just to prepend that time um, stamp just between the uploads here and the name of the file so let's just do that right now so let's just copy this quickly so we're going to change the destination if the file already exists by just putting the time function just right after the upload folder so there's a function in PHP called time. So we're going to just prepend that right before the name of the file. So let's try that in our browser and see if that works for us. So let's select the same file that we had uploaded in the previous videos, which is Sublime Text, and actually click on upload. And as you can see, it did say file uploaded successfully. So that was the same file. Let's go back in our home page and make sure it's been uploaded. So as you can see, the file now has been uploaded. We have Sublime Text uploaded twice. Let's try it once more for my um, thumbnail here and just upload and see if it works. Yes, it did say file uploaded successfully. So that's it guys for this video. I hope it was useful and um, I hope to see you in the next video. I'm not sure quite what we're going to do in the next videos, but I'll try to figure something out and make this file uploader even more awesome than it actually is right now. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.